Hello, this is Ramin with RaminDigital.com. We have released our latest Sony Vegas Pro template. It's called the Screen, and it will be available on our website, RaminDigital.com, in about a day or so. It has over 80 placeholders. Very easy to edit, and Green all templates. Uh, it's compatible with Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, and 13. Unfortunately, we don't do Sony Vegas Pro 10 anymore because uh, is, it lacks so many features that we need, uh, so we cannot produce the quality of the template that we want. So we're going with 11, 12, and 13. Uh, very easy to edit. Uh, it has over 80 placeholders, okay, because this is a very, it has a lot, a lot of pictures in it. But uh, the, uh, some of the photos are the main photos, like as you see, like this one, five, nine, and this four. Certain photos are right in the front and they're, they're, they're prominent. So these are ones that you want to put your you know, best photos in there. The other ones in the background, so they're a little bit smaller uh, in size, so you can you know, put some less, less popular photos in there. What I've done with this template, uh, because it has so many tracks and so many placeholders in it, we broke them apart to, to different tracks. This template has 104 tracks. Because the reason we did this, I could have bunched them all into one and it would have been so complicated and so difficult for you to edit it to find out where everything is, finding out all the stuff. So I broke them apart, they spread them apart, so you can easy, you can find out exactly where you are, what you need to modify and where you are. Each part, each, uh, we made this thing into a segment. I marked, I put these orange markers in there. Each segment is from this one to the next marker. So everything in this segment is what you see and there's nothing on top of it or nothing on the bottom of it. So in case if you want to prolong it to add like another 80 in it, so you copy all of these tracks that is in the segment. The next segment starts out right after that. So then I broke them apart into its own track. So you don't see anything else. Uh, we use num numbered images. So at any given time, you know what picture shows up where in your timeline. This one, you know, this is one and this is I want to put my uh, best, best photo, my girlfriend's photo very nice of it I put over here and two uh, is way in the back so I'm not going to use it and this five and nine I'm going to put different one again to, to change the, the photos just select the image that you wanted to do like in your segment one go into your project media tab find the image that is there like in this case it's number one it's here it's here and this one you want to change right click on this and then select replace um, navigation window opens up on the Windows or Mac, whatever you are, the dialog box. Navigate where your photos are and then pick whichever, you, whichever the photos you want. I pick this one, boom, it's there. So that part is done. Then you move on to the next photo. Like in this case, I see one. I want to put another picture in nine to the nine, find it on my me project media tab where I use, right click on it and say replace. And I pick the blue lady. In this case, I want to let's say let's change picture number ten. I find ten. I want to show you this thing how to resize them. Replace ten. I select ten, click on replace. And then I happen to be I have a photo that I got it from my cell phone. So it looks like this. It's not a sixteen by nine ratio. It's a square photo. So I put this in there, in number ten. Then I realize, wait a minute, this is not. It didn't fill the screen, and it you know, kind of looks funny because everything is overlap, you know, showing through and everything. So the best thing to do, what you need to do after you place your photo, if it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, you don't have to worry about it. If you do use a different size or shape, then open up the pan and crop. This is where your photo is. This is a square photo, but our window is a 16 by 9. So go under the preset that comes with every Sony Vegas Pro. On the presets, you see a variety one. One to one ratio, of course, it's a square. That means you're not changing it. You got a 4 by 3 and it cuts it up a little bit, but in this case, we want to go with 16 by 9 widescreen aspect ratio. Once you do that, it fills, resize the photo to your composition and puts it exactly where you are. So you're going to have a little bit of uh, cutoff in here, so pick your images carefully. Then you can move this around, so if you want, you know, exactly where you want it to land. You can also put video in here. Uh, all of the graphics in there are full HD. They're 19200 by 1080, full as, as high as the resolution it can get, minus going 4K, 4K, then you need like, you know, uh, two terabytes to download it. So that's not going to happen. So replace all the, the placeholders, change your text. Most of the segments, they have text in them. The text layers, just open it up, just a standard text, put whatever you want it to do. 
and you're done change the color change the font change the text whatever you want as long as it fits enjoy it it will be available on our website in about a day and thank you very much